Hey guys, what is up? It's the Reaper here. And today I'm bringing you another customization video. This one is for the low bringer, as you can see. So I recently reached Reputation 1 with this guy, and I would like to show you the things you can get from him. For him. So let's start with the helmet. We have the basic one, quite simple. And then we have this one, my level 7 helmet that I got. It has great exhaustion recovery, and that is what I want from it. Tickle helmet and this one. It looks kind of like a gladiator, to be honest. Then over to chest plates. The basic one. Then we have this one, this golden one. It's quite cool. Then this one I think is the same as, eh, almost the same as uh, the basic one. This, this one. And this one with two big chains on it. Seems rather right, right, impractical. Seems like the weapon could easily get stuck in it. But oh well. Then we have arms. It's the same for both arms, so no point in showing both. But uh, yeah. And this one, yeah. This one I would not like to get hit by that elbow. That look hurt. that would hurt a lot. And over to the axe heads then. This is the basic one. It's very puny when you look at the ones that the one I actually use. Now unfortunately this one was better than every level 7 blade I actually got, which is depressing. But oh well. Then we have this one. Quite similar to oh wait, actually is similar. It's the same. Crowley, Gibbons, and Belloff. To the shafts. You have this one, the one I use. Gives good revenge mode defense, and that's great. This one, quite fancy. Kind of like... Kind of like this one, but older looking. Belloff, full metal. Fraser, which is the same as the basic one, and Crowley. Then we have Axe Pikes. Uh, with the Crowley one, the one I use gives good throw distance. Fraser, revenge game by injury, which is good, but in it decreases my revenge mode attack and throw distance, and the throw is so good with this guy, I don't want that. This one, probably one of my favorites. Spikes, and finally the belt. So let's go over the outfits. We have the battle ones, which you can purchase for steel, which is the in-game currency, if you didn't know. This one is the Crusader. Uh, I got this for pre-ordering pre -ordering the game. Then we have Dawn's Gate, which is 1500 steel. Blood Spider, 3000. And Mute's Winter, 5000. Then we have the elite outfit, which you get for 7,000 steel. The flying list, which includes Hellfire, as you can see here, which is uh, an emote. And then we have the reputation ones. And yeah, there's a lot more now than were before. Uh, there's up to reputation 30 now, I think. I'm pretty sure. And this is it, yeah. Form Brawler. The... Yeah, this shows how good you are. <laughs> this one is probably one of my favorites. Okay. So, traits. You can not pick gender for this guy. He is always male. Uh, but to be honest, I don't care that much about that in this case. You can pick skin color, but... Uh, yeah, I don't really see the point of it. I just gonna stick with this one. Then for the heads, we have, of course, to check on the standards. I should probably switch color for this. There we go. Different patterns you can pick, and there is a lot of them, so I won't go through go through them all. 
yes, know that there is a lot. They have added so much to the game since the beta. But yeah, that's a real show. Then we have symbols. Uh, many of these are unlockable. These ones I got for pre in the game. This Assassin's Creed one. And all the ones that said Ubisoft Club on it. You get from Ubisoft Club, of course. Uh, a lot of them are also unlockable by playing the campaign. But yeah, much of all of them again. Now, ornaments. If any of you watch my uh, rip no, um, Orochi and Berserker video, you know that there was only two ornaments at that time. There's now 11, for this guy at least. I'm not completely sure about the others. So, there's three of them that you can purchase for 1,000 steel. Five of them, which can be purchased for 3,000 steel. This one, you unlock by uh, purchasing the elite outfit, which which I think was uh, 7,000 steel or something like that. This one you get from purchasing the mythic outfit, which was 15,000 steel. And this one you get for completing the night part of the campaign at realist difficulty. So yeah, this is one I'm going for. The raw materials on the armor. We have iron, bronze, copper, silver, black iron, which I think looks dope, and gold. And you can also uh, ha use something called usage on it. So you can pick that, uh, oh yeah, I only want bronze on his, uh, I only want bronze on his head, not on his chest plate and arms and the other stuff. For example. But yeah, I'm going for the full armor. Executions then. We have Backbreaker. Brutal, uh, very slow execution, but one of my absolute favorites in the game. Sweep the leg, this is probably one of the probably the fastest execution the Lordbringer have. And then we have the Stomp. Also, he's the second fastest, I think. And then we have the Impaler. Slow, but so freaking brutal, and I want it. So bad, so I'm gonna save up for this. Emotes then. Hard headed. A beautiful emote. Case of Mondays. He has smacked himself in the foot. Well done, mate. Well done. These are the combat, ex combat emotes. Yeah, and then we have this one, effects. Idle effects, you get when you are standing still, not doing anything, basically being AFK. So the Sunbeam one, you can get from per, from uh, Ubisoft Club. Darkness, you purchase for 5,000 steel. Come on, where are you? There you go. And Hellfire for purchasing the Mythic outfit. Executions. Sunbeam you get for purchasing the deluxe gold or collector edition. And no, the effect isn't that big when actually in the game. I'm not sure why it is here. It's actually quite discreet. Darkness, once again, 5000 steel. And Hellfire, which just looks badass. And then we have for the emotes. Unfortunately, you can't actually see it with any emotes. Hellfire, once again. Sunbeam, you get for purchasing the Season Pass. And that is the Gold Edition, or Collector Edition. But uh, yeah, I think that is everything I have to show today. Uh, thank you so much for watching, and I hope you enjoyed it. If you did enjoy, please leave a like if you want to see more. And leave a dislike if you didn't like it. Uh, if you want to see more, press the subscribe button. I will definitely be doing more of the customization videos uh, when I reach reputation. 
with other characters. Also, I will probably do one of, again with this guy when I reach Reputation 5 with him, because I will play this guy a lot. If you want to see the campaign, I have posted one video already, another one will come up later today. But uh, yeah, thanks for watching guys, I hope you enjoyed and I hope to see you later.